All right, I'm gonna, let's go and give away a poster. This is uh, one of my favorite posters. What are the top two reasons why, hey, <laughs> see a bit. What are the top two reasons why people will not bring in a family member or friend? They weren't asked. Yep, number one is they weren't asked. And actually not asked. Or told to. Told. told. Now, <coughs> something that's very important for you to realize in business, but also just in life and psychology with people, there's a woman, a young woman on... <coughs> a uh, subway car in New York. Some of you guys know this story. This is an important story to remember. It highlights a very important point. There's a young woman on a subway in New York that was raped. Um, and some of you are not too surprised by that because you know this sort of thing happens in this country. But the, the surprising part of this story is the, the car, the subway train, was full of people. while she was being raped. So it was full, I mean it was packed full of people. The guy had a knife and he raped her for like two minutes and then got away. The city, everyone was outraged. How can this happen? How can somebody be raped in front of all these people in a full subway car? So they brought in these scientists to understand, try to analyze what happened. And finally, they, they interviewed all the people that were there in the car. And every single one of them said what? Pardon? Believe it or not, every single person, almost every single person they spoke to said, I should do something. Thought, they said, as it was happening, was thinking, I should do something. Finally, the experts concluded this. They said that 70%, 7 out of 10 people in our society will not do anything unless they're told. Until they're told. And unfortunately for that woman that day, the subway car was filled with that 70%. Everyone had the thought, I should do something. But they won't do it. They won't do it until someone actually tells them to do it. Now see, uh, <coughs> we in advertising know this very well. That's why we use, in every advertisement, you have to have this thing called, what? Call, Call to action. You have to tell people what to do or they won't do it. Do you know that a call to action will literally increase your response, your effectiveness of an ad sometimes upwards of 20, 30 percent? Just by having a simple call to action saying, call us now, something as simple as that can actually increase the response rate. Because seven out of ten people won't do something, even though they're having the thought, oh, I should call them. I should call them. But because nobody tells them, they won't do it. Thank you. The expert said, if one person on that train would have stood up and said, on the count of three, jump him. They said that probably like half the people on the train would have jumped him. If just one person would have stood up and said, jump him, but because no one did, this woman was <coughs> brutalized. So, two reasons why patients won't bring in a family member or friend is because you don't tell them to, not you don't ask. If you were the person being assaulted on the subway, would you want someone to come to stand up and say, everybody, should we jump him? <laughs> or would you want somebody to stand up and say, on the count of three, jump him? You don't ask. You tell them to do it.
So we gave away a poster yesterday because there's another reason why people won't bring in somebody because you never tell them to do it. What's the other reason? Okay. They don't know. They don't know what it is you treat. But also, that love part is a big thing too. And we're gonna, today we're going to really start talking about how do you actually get patients to love you. And we actually go over this in the clinical excellence course, how to get patients to love you. We go over this in the billing, how to get patients to love you. We go over it in the automation and employee course. All right, this is another poster every practice should have. Do you know someone suffering from pain, injury, arthritis, difficulty walking, weakness, balance problems? We can help. And at the bottom it says, ask our front desk person for a special family and friends treatment voucher. This primes everyone that you are a business, you are an office, you're an organization that wants them to bring in family and friends. And then your receptionist, your staff will actually tell people. But this primes them. They keep getting the message, I should bring someone in. Who wants this? $200. <laughs> I'll tell you, this poster will make you we're going to talk today a little bit, just sh briefly, about how to spend money, but you only spend money on that which brings three times return or more, at least three times return, within six months.